Well, everyone, I am in the small town of Bayfield, Wisconsin. Very rural Wisconsin. In fact, uh, I'm kind of up here about as far north as you can get. Now, I didn't know what to expect when I came here. Uh, I knew the town had a peak population in the year 1900. There were 1,700 people here. And that today there are about 560. So I was thinking it might be kind of a dead place way up here. But guess what? It's not. It's full of people. This is very much a tourist town. It's on Lake Superior. So I'm going to make my way towards the lake. You can see it up ahead here. Beautiful, quaint town. Uh, wow. I'm just kind of exploring on foot. Um, why don't I tell you about the place as I make my way to the lake? Now, the median age is 66. That's pretty old. And I looked down, or I looked up the numbers a little bit more in detail. 64% uh, of the residents here are over the age of 50. And uh, only 7% are under the age of 18. So yeah, you can see it in the numbers. 52% of the town is male. 48% female. And uh, here's a different element to that statistic. 11% of the men are widowed. Only 5% of the women. It's usually the other way around. 80% uh, of the town is white. 8% is black. 4% is Native American. 4% is Asian, and the last 4% is mixed. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, this is absolutely not what I expected of the place. It is beautiful. Yeah, you see it for yourself. The median household income here, by the way, is 78,000 a year. So incomes are really good. That's $1,500 a week. This is not a poor town. And the poverty numbers support that. Uh, poverty is 10%. For children 17 and under, poverty is zero. Uh, oh, wow. Anyway, uh, the median home value, $227,000. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good home values. This is considered the smallest city in Wisconsin. Now, in Wisconsin, for a place to be a city, there has to be at least a thousand people for it to be incorporated as such. But this town, when it was incorporated, had over a thousand people in it. It just doesn't now. So it still counts as a city, even though it's not really. I would say that this is the farthest north city in Wisconsin as well. Well, here's another look at this beautiful, quaint downtown. It is a Saturday, by the way, about three in the afternoon. 63 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 17 Celsius. So it's a little cool. It actually feels pretty good. There's not much in the way of wind. Um, should I tell you some of the accolades that this city has gotten for 2023? USA Today 2023 says that Bayfield is one of the USA's top 10 coastal cities. Also, Con Nast for two, uh, 2023 
says that Bayfield is one of the 23 best places to go to visit in the United States. It's pretty impressive. The town is also the gateway to the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. So there's that as well. All right, I'm back in the Bronco. Uh, let me show you where I am on the map. Of course, that's me, uh, the blue circle uh, with the white arrow in it. Now you can see I'm at the very top of Wisconsin there. You got Minneapolis to the south and the west. Uh, Madison, Wisconsin, almost straight south, that is the capital city. And you can see Grand Rapids, Michigan poking up over here and then Fargo, North, uh, North Dakota over here. Right now, I'm gonna go into a neighborhood, straight into a neighborhood, and I will check out a little housing. I saw this right off the bat. Check out this church. Oh, it's a wedding vi uh, venue now. Okay. Isn't that cool looking? Hopefully you can see it. Uh, the sun is right behind it. That is too cool. Anyway, uh, let me see what else I can find here. Looks like a tree house, doesn't it? Or is that just a, an elaborate birdhouse? Interesting. Pretty house, too. Isn't that something? Look at the houses on this street. I'm gonna stick the camera out the window. You can see the uh, high median home value for sure. I would have never guessed that this town looks like this. Way up here, way north Wisconsin. Looks like this everywhere, whole town. Well, all right, guys, uh, I'm going to head to the next town. All right, everyone, I am entering the town of Washburn, Washburn, Wisconsin. Um, median age here is 49. Gender breakdown, 50-50. Basically going through downtown now. Uh, there's some more downtown up ahead, so I'm just going to drive through it real quick, show it to you. 82% uh, of the town is white, 6% Hispanic, 4% Native American, 1% Black, 1% Asian. Last 6% is mixed. Yeah, here's the main part of downtown. It's real nice. It's quaint, isn't it? It's not real busy, though, like the last downtown. The median household income here is 53000 a year. It's right at 1000 a week. Poverty here is a little higher, too, 13%. Uh, Children 17 and under, it's 16%. People 65 and older, it's 12%. Those numbers are right in line with the U.S. and its average. So right on the money there. Uh, median home value here is $151,000. Crime, very low. Last year, eight incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 22. Anyway, uh, let's see. Lake Superior, uh, Superior is this way. Well, it looks like I have found Lake Superior. Got a bunch of boats here. Looks like there's a dock here. Well, at least we can see the water. We got a lot of stuff over here. Let me get the camera over here so you can see it. 
a lot of old boats. Think they're being repaired? What do you guys think? Let me zoom in a little. Oh, this looks like it might be a spot where they repair boats. Am I right? Somebody comment. Uh, let us know. Uh, there's something here though, isn't it? There's uh, the lake. Well, I guess I'll turn around. See what else I can find. Man, it looks awesome, doesn't it? What a great day to get on a boat. You see that deer? It's just, um, Like he owns the place. Well, I'm out in residential, checking out some houses. They're looking pretty impressive. Uh, this one especially. Oh, look at that. That is a beauty. Uh, did I tell you the population yet? I don't think I did population of the town is just under 2,000, 1,947. Now peak population of the town was in 1910. There were nearly 4,000 people here. In 1910, that's a big city. Uh, it's lost over half its population, but you know, that was over a hundred years ago. Show you a couple more houses. Isn't that nice? Look at this one. Um, this is the second town in a row where it's just a lot of beautiful homes in excellent condition. 341 for a gallon of gas here uh, I didn't give you mileage yet either let's book that shall we while I'm waiting for these cars 95,645 miles Ooh, she's getting up there all right head to the next town but uh, oh here's a grocery store by the way for those of you who like to see the grocery stores in the towns Hanson's Market okay well next town here we come Everyone, I am entering the town of Ashland. Ashland, Wisconsin. Now, back in the year 1900, there were a little over 13,000 people here. And you're gonna be thinking in the year 1900 that 100 years later, it's gonna be a huge city of 200,000. But that didn't happen. The city lost population, and today there are 7,900 people here. But uh, you wouldn't know it from looking. At least driving through downtown, it's um, it's real nice. This downtown. Now here's uh, a little bit of the info. Median age is 38. 52% uh, of the town is male, so that's 48 left for females. 83% of the town is white. Look at that great old theater there. Anyway, 83% of the town is white, 6% Native American, 4% Hispanic, 2% black, 
1% Asian, last 4% is mixed. It's a big downtown too. Um, median household income is $50,000 a year. That's uh, $960 a week. Median home value here is $112,000. Poverty is a little high, 20%. For children 17 and under, it's 30%. That's actually quite high. Folks 65 and older, it is 23%. Crime's a little high too. 40 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 23. Now the town is on Lake Superior. Like the other two. So I'm going to go down here and get a look. See what they got going on over here. Hmm. Well, there is. Oh! Speed bumps. That's what there is. Got a bunch of boats over there. I'm not sure if you can see them. The sun is uh, in the other direction. And there is a shot of the lake. It's beautiful. Well, I'm not sure what that white building is, but it looks like a big grand hotel, doesn't it? Uh, you can see parts of downtown here. And then more of it there. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Really awesome looking town. Now yeah, I'm back in downtown. Now here's the county courthouse. Ashland is the county seat for Ashland County. Built in 1915. Classical revival. Isn't that something? Look at this beautiful street and neighborhood. It's just amazing, isn't it? It's like I stumbled into the rich part of town, but a lot of the town looks just like this. It's pretty unreal. Man, I would live here. Except it's just too cold. But wow, look at these houses. This one is for sale. And so is this one. And so is this one. They got three houses right here in a row for sale. You guys want to look it up for fun? Let me try to figure out what name or what this street's name is. It is 9th Avenue West. If you guys want to figure out how much those houses are going for. I'm curious. What does a house in this neighborhood sell for? Well, I got one more town to show you. Iron River. Population 670 people. Numbers are a little different here. Uh, median age is 49. Look here, they have an auto value parts store. That's, well, used to sell gas, I guess. Pumps have bags on them. Hmm. Anyway, uh, the town is 60% male. I'm sorry. 60% female. Let's get that right. 
40% male. 16% of the males have been widowed. So that's a little bit different. 89% of the town is white. 4% is Hispanic. Um, 3% is Native American. Last 4% is mixed. Some of the other numbers are not so good. Median household income is 37,000. That's a little over 700 a week. Poverty is high, 26%. For children, it is really high. The highest I think I've ever seen. 60% of the children here live at or below the poverty level. I mean, I've seen some in the 50s, you know, in Mississippi, in Arkansas, I've never seen a child poverty level above 60, but uh, it's 60 here, 60%. For folks uh, 65 and older, it's 10%. The streets look all right though, don't they? And the homes and everything. Uh, and the homes are worth something. Median home value is 116,000. Crime is very low. Last year, 1.2 incidents per 100 people compared to the US average of 2.3. So, interesting town. High poverty, 60% uh, female. Income's low, but, uh, well. The house, or the town, looks pretty okay. Wow, check out what this town has. That is an old A&W. Right, how long has it been since you've seen one of those? All right, everyone, that's gonna be the end of this video. I've got Lake Superior in the background here. How awesome, huh? Anyway, Nicole and I will be heading into the Upper Peninsula of Michigan next. So, be looking for it. We'll see you then.